All right, guys, Fastback Saloon. We're out here again, uh, still in Gunnersville at the Saline Cookout, and we ran into Jason. Jason, tell us about your special car. Well, what I got, it's a 79 Indianapolis 500 pace car. Um, basically, in August 2015, I bought the car. It was a four-cylinder turbo, four-speed. It was the original engine transmission in the car. Uh, the previous owners had rebuilt the engine and couldn't get it to run. A friend of mine bought the car to restore and then ended up finding a V8 car that was already restored. Uh, when he found that car, this car basically was relegated to being a parts car. Mm -hmm. He had taken things off of it that would go on different Mustangs that he owned. And I ended up buying the car from him for $500. Wow. Um, didn't run, there was no interior in it. And all I knew was I wanted another Fox Body Mustang. I'd had several in the past. So I got the car, we get it home. I start around with it just a little bit. Within an hour and a half, I had it running. Wow. Drove it around my neighborhood, two laps on tires that were so dry rotted, <laughs> you could literally see the air inside of them. Wow. Uh, after that two laps, I backed it back in my garage, put it on jack stands, ripped all the suspension out from under it. Was put it pretty a, original at that time? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, it, it had been, come to find out later on, it had been painted three times, so it had a lot of paint on it. But I bought seats, bought an interior, everything to put back in it, put all SN95 stuff on it, bought the wheels and tires from uh, Late Model Restoration. Mm -hmm. Knew down the road I wanted to V8 swap the car, so I had acquired a rear end, an 8.8 .8 from a 95 Cobra that I ended up having built, 31 spline axles, Auburn nice. locker, 373 gears. Yeah. Um, built all that, put it under the car, ran all that with the four cylinder for about a year and a half, had some fun with it, decided I wanted to play with it. And then it came down to, okay, I need to do something. The paint was faded, clear coat was peeling off of it. And it had the dreaded rust around the sunroof. Oh yeah. That plagued so many of the 79 model cars so it all started with a roof skin replacement pulled the windshield out stripped the car uh, replaced the roof skin and then it went downhill from there <laughs> uh, completely stripped all the paint off the car all the way down to just bare metal all the way around it took it to a friend of mine's shop where I started working on it the original plan was to put a coyote in it mm -hmm. with a six speed had another friend of mine that's very familiar with Mustangs. Never listen to your friends, by the way. <laughs> he told me, oh, you'd have way too much money invested in trying to put a Coyote in this car and make it run. I had a 351 Windsor that came out of my father's old round track car. Oh, wow. He said, well, you've got this motor. Just build that motor. Well, once the motor was built, I quickly learned that it would have been a whole lot cheaper to put a coyote in the car. Oh no. <laughs> um, and make it run. But, you know, I digress. Blood, sweat, and tears, right? <laughs> At that time, we decided, all right, it's full on, you know, we're all or nothing. We're running. committed now. So it, it came completely apart down to an empty shell. Uh, all the suspension was replaced with Maxima Motorsports. Nice. The rear. Uh, so 351 with a T56 Magnum six speed in it. There you go. Uh, did the ingot silver paint and then trying to further along how we would make it my own, we got to talking about what would it look like nowadays if Ford built an Indy 500 pace car. Yes. We decided we would change the colors and update it a little bit more from the orange and red stripes that they had back in 79 we came up with the two-tone blue and i absolutely love that too i mean it was the first thing that caught my eye when we pulled in today was i told my wife i said wow either that is an awesome take on that on that pace car or they made this addition and i didn't know about it but yes love what you did with it thank you well it, it is actually one of the 10,479 if i remember correctly one of those replica cars that for produced for the public. Gotcha. It is the 48 in the VIN. Um, it was, what would it look like 
if yes. they did it now, but staying true to uh -huh. the pace car livery. Um, so still, are those the same uh, pony stripes that would have been on the side or the uh, the different, uh, or did you change the color in those? The, the horses, the colors are changed just a little bit. Okay. Everything is kind of updated to match the blue motif. Gotcha, but it just um, works perfect. It all was scanned off of an NOS set Okay. pace car stripes. Gotcha, gotcha, love that. And then the light bar, what a, what a neat touch with the light bar. You know, was that was that uh, something that they had? I don't remember, did they have you know, the- back in, back in 79, the pace cars for that race, they actually had a green flag and a yellow flag that were on the back bumper oh, of the cars. I do remember And all that. they did to mount those was drill a hole in the bumper of the car. Wow. I was not going to do that. No, I don't blame you. This was all part of the, uh, what would it look like now? Yeah, yeah. Nice touch to that for sure. So, so with that motor, you said it came from a, a late model stock car. Was it more horsepower than stock already? Did it have no, extra it was, performance goodies on it? No, the the engine block itself came from a 1984 Crown Vic police car. Okay. And the class that my father ran, it had to be a stock engine. Okay. So it was rebuilt to OEM specs, but being around track, you're not cheating unless you get caught. So it had a little different cam in it. Yeah. Now, so <laughs> it, it may have been 170 horsepower. Yeah, yeah. Now it has been dynoed at 494 horsepower. Ooh, yeah. And 495 foot pounds of torque. Plenty, yeah. So, Especially for a lightweight Fox body. And a lot of people, it does surprise people. It is fuel injected. Oh, wow. It, it's the Holly Sniper fuel injection. System. How about that? Yeah, those are really popular right so, now. Shout out to Holly. There you go. There you go. Well, you did a fantastic job. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for sharing it. And uh, it's just uh, unique, one of a kind. And uh, I know the viewers are going to love it. We well, appreciate you talking with us. Thank you.